Hey, and welcome to another video uh, by Enterprises Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. I'm Anthony, and what we're going to walk through today is migrating users from G Suite to Office 365. Now, this is going to be a, a two-step process. One, we're actually going to migrate the user accounts, and then two, we'll go ahead and migrate all of the email as well. So first, uh, you can see here that I'm signed in to my Office 365 portal, and I'm also signed into my G Suite portal. So in G Suite, if we just click on our users, that'll bring, us, bring up a list of all the users that we have set up here in G Suite. And if I click on the download users option, this is going to give us the ability to download a spreadsheet with all the information of our users in it. So I'm going to select all user information columns and set it as a CSV, since that is a type that Office 365 needs for when we upload it to Office 365. We'll click on download and it takes it a minute but we'll go ahead and click on the most recent csv downloaded on download okay and if we open it up uh, you can see that we've got a lot of information about our users and a lot of it isn't filled in but that's just because these are demo users that's all so what we're really going to focus on is the first name last name and email address all right so we'll go ahead and switch back over to office 365 so go ahead and launch the admin app And here we'll click on active users and then in the user screen you notice I have just the one user that we already created and if I hit the drop down for more I have this option to import multiple users. I'm going to go ahead and select that and here we have an option to download a CC file with headers only. So that's going to give us a template uh, to build all of our user information because we have to have all the same headers that they do. So I'm going to go ahead and download a CC file with headers only. Go ahead and open this up. All right, and here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little split screen uh, with the two CSVs. So on the left, I have my template for Office 365, and on the right, I have my G Suite information. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna copy the email address over. I'm gonna paste this into the username in Office 365. Uh, since it will pick that up as the email address and then I'm going to copy the first name. Copy the last name. And then we'll have to fill in the display name. This is going to be the first name, last name. But what's really cool is you notice that in Excel it automatically picked that up. Hit enter. Fills in the rest of them. So if you've got a whole list of them, not going to take you very long. And, and here, if you have other information in your uh, G Suite export, uh, this is where you would fill it in as well. Uh, you can see that I don't with my demo users. They're very boring users, apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And it's just saved to my downloads folder. And we'll switch back over to Office 365. I'm going to go ahead and browse for that template. And you can see I've done this, done this a couple of times before. Uh, but I'm just going to select the import user template. Uh, where you can see it's got the one in the parentheses. Click open. And then we have an option to verify it to see if we actually did it right. Sweet. Fire looks good. Click or tap next. So we'll go ahead and select next. And this is where we can select if we want the user to be able to sign in or not. So I'm going to select sign in allowed. So I want them to be able to sign in. And we can set their location, and that's it's important to set that accurately for licensing. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they have a license for everything. So I've got a business premium subscription, so they're all going to get a business premium license. And if you want to remove access for some of the applications, you can, and, and this is where you would do it. And we'll click Next. And it's going to go ahead and add those users. And one of the interesting things here is you notice that one user can't be created well, here I'll show you. We don't need to look at the results here. I, I, in this case, I can show you exactly why. So you can see here that we are, we already had the Anthony Howell user. So that's my user account. That was already created. So that's the user that escaped. But there, now we have our five users that we have copied over from G Suite. So thanks for watching this video. And remember, remember that ESS is your number one software dudes. Be sure to click subscribe if you like the video. 
and check us out on all of our social media links.